Hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. God helped Joseph. Jacob had 12 sons, but he loved Joseph the most. He gave Joseph, Joseph the best clothes. He gave him the most delicious food. One day, Joseph had a dream. In his dream, he became the ruler over his brother. He boasted about the dream to his father and brothers. His brother hated Joseph even more. <laughs> One day, brother said, let's kill Joseph. Another brother said, don't kill him. Let's sell him as a slave. The brother sold Joseph to Median Marchants. Joseph became a slave in Egypt. Joseph came to the house of Potiphar, and then the role of Egypt. He worked very hard. Joseph was a helpless slave, but God helped him. God blessed the house of Potiphar because of Joseph. One day, something bad happened. Potiphar's wife lied lied to his husband. She said Joseph is a bad slave. Potiphar put Joseph in prison. God was with Joseph in the prison. Joseph took care of the prisoners. One day Joseph interprets the dream of two persons. They were helpers of the king. Few days later, their dreams came true. Sorry, I was reading so fast. One night, one night, Egyptian king had two strange dreams. In one dream, seven skinny cows ate of seven healthy cows. Another dream, seven dried bundles of grain ate up the healthy bundle of grains. What does this dream mean? The king asked many people. No one could tell him the meaning of the dream. The king's helper remembered Joseph. He was in jail with Joseph. Joseph can interpret the dream. The king said oh, for Joseph, the dream means that for next year, seven years, you will have good years. You will harvest plenty of fruits, but you will also have seven bad years. You won't have any crops. You must Prepare some for the female, said Joseph. The king was very pleased. The king was amazed and happy with Joseph's wisdom. The king said, you are very wise. I want you to rule my people. The king made Joseph a ruler of Egypt. God took care of me, said Joseph. God was with Joseph. Eight the chapter. Joseph forgave his brother. Joseph's brother were not good to him. They did it did bad things to him. Because of them, Joseph had hard times in Egypt, but God was with Joseph. God helped him. God gave Joseph wisdom. 
God made him a ruler of Egypt. Joseph forgave his brothers. As Joseph said, they had seven good years with God's help. Joseph saved a crops. After that, seven bad years followed. Followed, but they had plenty of food in Egypt. The brother met a governor in the palace. They didn't know that the Egyptian governor was Joseph. Joseph's brother went to buy some food. Joseph knew they were his brother. Joseph said, you are the spice. You want to know how much food we are have. The brothers were shocked. They said in fear, no, we are here to buy food. Joseph wanted to know if they still hated one another. Bring your youngest son, brother next time and prove that you were not spies. Joseph saw that they cried for Benjamin. He saw them help another to keep Benjamin safe. Joseph wanted to ask them about his father and Benjamin, but he decided to not ask. He gave them enough food. He let them go to their hometown. Joseph's brother came to Egypt to buy food again. They didn't recognize Joseph. Joseph couldn't help crying. When he saw his brother again, Brothers, I am Joseph. Joseph couldn't help crying. I sorry. The brothers were scared, but they thought that they didn't do be killed. But Joseph said, It's all right, brothers. God sent me to Egypt before you. Let's live here in Egypt. Joseph forgave his brother. They lived happily together. Brave Mira, Miriam, Miriam. Mm -hmm. Miriam was an Israel girl. Her family in Egypt. The Pharaoh of Egypt didn't like the people of Israel. The Pharaoh ordered and his men to kill all the Israel's boy baby's boy Miriam's mother had a lovely baby boy she hit the boy baby and wasted him as the baby grew she couldn't hide him any longer she laid her son at the basket and play, placed him in a river. I will be with the baby, said Miriam. Miriam was a brave girl. Miriam followed the basket secretly. The baby cried in the basket. A woman came to the river to take a bath. She was a princess of Egypt. Look at the basket. She was surprised to see a baby in the basket. I will raise this cute baby myself. The princess said, I will call him this baby Moses. Because I took him out of the water. Moses means a child out of the water. I need a nurse 
where the prince Miriam was watching everything. She ran to the princess and said, I know a woman she called can help you. My mother can take care of the baby, said Miriam. The princess said yes. And Miriam brought her mother. The princess asked her, I will pay you for nursing this baby. The mother was very happy to realize her baby on baby openly. openly. Thank you so much. You are such a brave girl, Miriam, said the mother. Should I read one more story? Okay, I will read one more story. Moses saw at the fames of the bush. Moses became 40 years old. Moses knew that he was in Israel, living in Egypt. One day, he saw an Egyptian hitting in Israel. He was mad and killed the Egyptian. The Egyptian pharaoh tried to catch Moses. Moses ran away. Time was had passed. Moses got married and became a shepherd. Moses was 80 years old. Moses was sad. He missed the people of Israel and Egypt. They were slaves in Egypt. I think they were very working hard, hard. Moses was taking care of his sheep. He was as he was sad because of the Israel in Egypt. Moses said to himself, "My people are suffering all day because of the king of Egypt. Who can I help them?" Moses was talking Taking care of the sheep one day, something strange happened then. A bush was a fire with it was burning. God spoke to Moses from the bush. Go back to Egypt. Bring my people out of Egypt. You will go into Canaan as I promised to Abraham a long time ago. Moses was afraid. He didn't want to do this job. He knew the Pharaoh would try to kill him, but God showed miracles to encourage Moses. God also led his brother Aaron to go with him. Aaron spoke well. Moses called Gently went to Egypt. Moses was going to bring God's people out of the Egypt. Moses was going to do as God said. Yes, I read the maybe four three stories. Next time I'll read the king said no. It was fun. Then bye and please. Oh, and. Next time I'll read the uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, next time I think I will read also three four stories. Um, maybe twelve chapter, eleven chapter, twelve chapter, thirteen chapter. Maybe I will read. Yes, next time I will read the. Yes, today I read the Bible stories. It was fun and bye.